if they say if we'll only avoid avoid any confrontation with the enemy, he'll forget his evil ways and learn to love. All right, what's going on, guys? It's Psych Pro here, and we're back with another video. And I know it's been a minute. It's been another month since I've uh, done a video. Sorry, uh, I was busy with finals, and then summer came up, and actual job was you know getting in the way and all. But you know. We're back with another video. I also want to thank all of you for over a thousand five hundred subscribers. Thousand five hundred plus of you guys are watching me and watching my content when it comes out. We're almost at at two thousand. It tells me that we're at two thousand, but whenever I go look at the actual number, it's not there. But you know, thank you so much for each and every one of you that tune in every time to see exactly you know all the content that I push out. I just want to thank you again. Also, I'm going to be streaming pretty soon. When I say pretty soon, I mean like within the next couple of weeks. Um, about a week to two weeks. So if you want to come see a stream, you know, it's going to be the same as my uh, YouTube name. Psych Pro, no spaces, capital S, capital P. You know, get that self-promotion out there. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video. You know, like it if it helps you comment if you have questions and subscribe for more so let's get right into it from the title you probably already know what this is and it's a guide on how to get the do not delete chests and I have five of them for you oh no six I'm sorry I forgot there were two in that one place six of them so you know let's just get right into it stop wasting time let's just go right now so let's go head over to Dragon's Reach and the Jarl's Quarters so I'm gonna meet you guys there Alright, we're back and we are at Dragon Reach and now I said the Yaros Court is up there but I wanted to let you guys know grab and take as many plates off of these two tables, the one over there as well. You can do plates and platters. I would advise plates, bowls, things like that. Uh, I'm going to take one platter but for these technically you only need one plate but you know in case you lose one somehow you know grab a couple extras but now we're going to head into Dragon's Reach Yaros Quarters. And I'll be right back when we're at the spot. Now that you made it to the Yarl's quarters, you're just going to go left up these stairs. Hey, and you're going to go through the door. Go left once more. There's going to be a... Well, there's not going to be a plate. But I put a plate down. There's going to be a little opening between the end table and the wardrobe. You're going to put a plate where the bottom is facing you. You're going to run through it and just, you know, spam X. You might get a bounty. You might not. Um, depends basically when you pick it up. If you pick it up early, you know, like right as you breach through the wall, then you might get a bounty. Otherwise, you probably won't. But there's one of the do not delete chests. Alright, and so now I'm going to go to the next one. Number two on this list is going to be to the right instead of the left. You went left to the Jarl. You're going to go right behind the desk, right next to this chair. You can use a plate or a platter. I find that the platter works a little bit better um, and since we can fit it I'm gonna use that but you're gonna breach through and do the same thing and again you might get a bounty if you pick it up right as you breach through the wall but if you do it a little bit later you should be perfectly fine but now I'm gonna pick up my plate and platter and we're going to go to number three Number three on the list is going to be at Bellathor's General Goods in the middle of the White Run Market. Kind of on the right side, um, I guess kind of depending where you come in from. But you're going to come in here and you're going to take an immediate left and go up these stairs right here. The chest is on the first floor. It's about where that chair is, give or take a little. But we have to be from a elevated position to get to the chest. So I'm going to do it with a platter because I find going through walls with a platter is a lot simpler than it is with a plate. So yeah, basically you're going to wall breach through here and fall on to the first level ledge. So right there. Uh, I didn't get it this time. So I'm going to try one more time and if I can't get it, I'm going to do the cut and I will be back once I do make it. But let's try it one more time with the platter oh okay well I did not get it but you're supposed to land Please on that little around. ledge that I hit I and then pick up the chest from there fall down to it but yeah uh, I'm going to cut whenever I made it to the ledge um, so yeah I'll be right back 
Alright guys, now I've made it here. I don't want to let go because I will fall. So I'm going to come right here, just to where that chair is. And I'm going to let myself drop. Alright, so now we're at where the chair is, and it should be right below me. And there we go. That is the third Do Not Delete chest. It only took me about five times after, but now we have three Do Not Delete chests, which is pretty good. So now let's head to number four. Alright, now number four on the list is going to be at Arcadia's Cauldron to the left of Bellathor's uh, goods, I guess. Beltor's general goods. Um, but yeah, right as you come in here, you're going to just go straight. You have to open these doors, I'm pretty sure. But you're going to need to close them right after because it makes it a lot easier. If Arcadia keeps coming in, you might have to leave the door open. Um, but yeah, you're just going to run left right here. Go forward. I would save if you can. I uh, hope I got that right there. But that's where it was. <laughs> that's where it was. How many do I have? No, I only have three. Alright, we're going to try again. Um, but yeah, basically, you're just going to try and save um, at a spot if you can. Um, let's see if I can find a spot to save for you guys so you know where. I mean, you can kind of figure it out. You guys can play test around in, in this stuff uh, before you get to do not delete chest. But um, you could probably just like go up a little. Alright, so right here, technically, I'm on solid ground. So I'm going to save right here. Um... Well, as you can see, there's Arcadia. She was getting on my nerves. She kept talking to me whenever I was trying to do this. Um, but try not to breach back through. You know, just keep going forward about where she is. You know, yeah, about where her dead body is is where you're going to fall. Um, if she's there for you, crouch. If she's still alive, crouch. So when you steal it, you don't get a bounty. But there you go. There is number four. I don't know why that one's stacked and these don't. That's weird. Oh, I guess the value. Oh, and these stack. I don't know. Not important. Alright, so let's go to number five. Alright, now number five on the list is going to be the Drunken Huntsman. Right as you come into Whiterun, you just go straight. And then from going inside the Huntsman, you're again just going to go straight right up the stairs. Now, there might involve quite a bit of saving, depending how good you are. Um... I'm going to do this, and if I can't do it first try, I'm going to come back once I get to a solid spot. But I'm going to try once or twice, so let's see if I can get this. Oh, did I get it first try? Ooh, let's go. First try. All right, so get to about right here where the bed is, and then save. I would advise saving as much as you can in this one. Well, not as much as you can, but a decent amount because you don't want to, you know, fall and have to restart the whole thing because this is a bit of a sketchy one. Um, keep going forward. Don't push too hard. Okay, hold on. We'll just load saves. Don't push too hard uh, against that wall, but also make sure you are pushing a little bit. Otherwise, you will either go through or you'll do what I just did and you will fall if you're not pushing enough. So let me line this up. Alright, I'm just going to go straight forward. Alright, well, there's the chest as you can see. But, um, yeah, so this one, basically it's pretty easy uh, once you get to the first spot. Uh, this second spot's kind of whooping me, but, you know, again, this is a little bit easier than one of the, a couple of the other ones just because of where you need to fall. Nope, don't want to go back through. I'm trying to hug the fudge. Alright, well, I'm going to be back once I get to the second spot because obviously this is taking me a bit too long. So, be right back. Alright, now I made it back. Uh, what you could do is you could put down one of the do not delete boxes because that's what they do. They float. They have no, you know, real physics. They kind of just defy gravity. So once you get to a point, if you start getting stuck but you have a save point, you could put one of these down and jump on top of it because it is solid. And then right afterwards, just crouch. Make sure you're crouched and pick it back up and it won't count against you. Alright, but now we've made it basically to the... Um, spot where we needed to be. <clears throat> Excuse me. That is the do not delete chest. That is a merchant's chest. Um, so we're gonna go straight for the do not delete chest. Like I said, it is straight ahead, so you're gonna just fall and move forward. I messed up a little there, but it should only take me one or two more tries because this one is pretty easy. Um, also, probably 
don't crouch when you go for this one because this one is uh, since you're under the map you probably won't get a bounty anyway and even if you do it's only about 50 gold so it's not too much of an issue so here we go I'm gonna try and do it one more time okay well you know I missed it there but you you get where it's at you guys can basically figure it out I'm gonna try one last time just so I'd like to be able to show you guys that I got it um, not too big of a deal you guys know exactly where it is now and how to get to it um, I do want my chest back though I would like to be only down one not down two so let's just go here and then we're gonna try one more time and fall back. Hey, there we go. And we got it. So that makes five of the Do Not Delete chests. There's still one more, but this one is going to be in Riften. Um, so head over to Riften and we will meet up at the sixth one. I'll show you where it is. So we'll be right back. Number six. We are now on to the last and final one. Like I said, it's going to be in Riften, so there's the front gate. You're going to take a right, come down these stairs, and then you're going to come to Elgrim's Elixirs right over here. And this chest is probably the best, and the reason I say it's the best is because there's an alchemist um, merchant chest along with the do not delete chest. So you can get all the ingredients that the they are currently selling and the do not delete chest. So you're going to run through. Okay not like that okay you're gonna run through and you're supposed to come backwards a little bit can I just blast through this come on this is killing me this zone is super hard to get plates flipped I'll tell you guys that right now you this thing like is horrible I hate it for flipping plates there we go though there we go all right so like I say go through there's the chest right there so now we're on it. Pretty easy. I wonder if I get okay, I'm not even gonna do it. But this is the alchemist little chest that gives them their potions, plus whatever gold they're selling or not selling what they have. There's also recipes. Um, I saw some danger hearts in here. It's basically whatever they're selling, but they're probably not selling any right now, so that's why we don't see any in there. But so from here once you land on here I would super advise saving because that's the do not delete chest and you there you go easy you don't want to accidentally slip and not get it so that makes six six do not delete chests that you guys can use for whatever you want however you want basically you could just keep stacking them and stacking them and then picking up the other ones and stacking you know you could do that as much as you want you could build staircases out of places this basically makes glitches 100 times easier, all sorts of them, getting out of white run for the uh, merchant chest, uh, you know, tons of different things. You guys can use them however you want, but there are six of them. There's also a merchant chest. I want to once again thank everybody for the continued support on the channel. Going to be streaming, you know, tons of stuff like that. Overwatch is about to come in, Elder Scrolls Online. Oh, uh, I almost said Overwatch again. Destiny 2. There's going to be tons of content coming out really soon, guys. I've been a little slow on the Skyrim because I've been kind of running out of some things to do. But I think I got a couple more ideas, so there shouldn't be a drought of videos for, you know, a good minute. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this has helped you out in whatever way possible. Yes, thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe. And this is Site Pro, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Tell me pretty lies